To the many people that should be watching these things, my things, me the 47th president things, instead of sitting there laying on your bed, accepting demons into your heart, I'm probably talking to Teresa Gallagher, maybe just listen to the Holy Spirit. Let me rephrase that. Never, let me say that again. Just, you know, maybe be listening to the Holy Spirit instead of trying to get rid of him. My mother, Teresa Gallagher, is no longer a mother to me. She has tried to murder me. She has honestly let hell happen in her own house. I don't understand why a woman would do that. Why a mother would do that. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. If you guys can't uphold your own standards and like uphold yourself to standards, I ain't got no advice for you. I, I just, I can't take this anymore i am so many different titles that being treated like this is really quite a low life I'm trying to clean my phone let's plug this in and it's just annoying when i have to tell some random another freaking Allison out there how to tell have to tell her random ass <laughs> Taylor Swift what is what is the story? Not Taylor Swift getting and going married what now? I look so much better in this mirror than I do on camera. Y'all I tried to trim my hair a couple of days ago and I was trying to guess there was so much I think y'all can watch my own videos there was so much up here and it just was like too much thanks Antonia for caring about me because I, I have been the only one that's cared about me this whole time nobody cares about me they throw me in a f hospital they throw me in a fucking I don't believe that you need Dawn, so we're going to throw you in a psycho... It's just ridiculous. I just... I, I don't know what is going on in a bunch of people, but if I do know something, is that there's anyone out there that feels like... <sighs> you're, you're such a good person, and you know that for yourself. Why are people treating you like... Disgusting. It just... It's just gross, and I don't blame myself for feeling like, you know what, where are these so-called kind people because I ain't seeing them anymore. And it's not just kind people. I mean, if you really want further investigation, uh, it's called Micah. It's called Micah people. The prophet Micah is very kind, doesn't want to hurt anyone kind of person. So why is it a bad thing to like love and love again? It's just ridiculous. I will not be, I prophesy I will not be in Oregon much longer. Um, I, I will be totally pressing charges from the hate that I have received. Uh, you guys literally were walking with demons. It, it didn't even seem like they were trying to be themselves. It didn't seem like anything. And the bottom line is, is, like, if you guys can't pay attention to the prophecies that God has already put out, especially in movies, like, uh, Princess Diaries is real. Like, Clary's Fluid is <laughs> Clary's Rinaldi in Princess Diaries. I am the A name, Amelia. Why can't people respect that? I don't know what goes on in you people. And it's almost like... I can't have that comfort, that internal conversation for you. You have to rebuke your demons and you have to get in control of yourself or you might be facing your own sin death. Please read the Bible more often and read it with your wives and read it with your husbands because women out there, you need to support your husbands. I don't give a shit if you think you don't have one or not. Oregon is ridiculous. I have reached out to some really important people and you guys just shoved me off oh here's a scripture i'm like i needed more than just a scripture i needed your trust i needed your devotion and if i can't have that oh shoot america's in for a whole different killjoy just 
It just doesn't make any sense when I'm here to support you, America, and that's always what I've heard. When really, America has always been owned by God, and lots of you all have not honored that, so it's going to be quite a big fist coming at a lot of your necks. So I ain't putting up with any of this anymore. I understand that a lot of you have fears and all kind of drama. Let it go, please, because fear is what has been um, controlling America for too long. I mean, how many times do I have to hear about, you know, oh, okay, here's rights in Portland. I'm like, seriously, John, you can talk about that, but you can't even say, you know what, I've heard the, I've heard Antonio. <laughs> Stuck in Oregon, it's been hard for her to even pray. Tried to taper my hair down, but dang, Nicole, bro. I said, <laughs> I said to myself, <laughs> I said, you know what? You're gonna like it because you're gonna like it, girl. So, just thought I'd make myself accountable on this body. You know, in uh, a word for the dude that the, apparently the Satan filled, like he's supposed to be Yeshua and can't be Oregon. Just so you know, like you have a much bigger um, case against you because I have a much bigger case against you. It's not even just me. It's just Jesus believers that are like, um, what's up with people like him that can't even like fulfill their job? And then we're sitting here like, why do I feel like something's supposed to happen? Why do I feel like something's about to happen? And it's because people like him can't even fulfill the job that they're supposed to do in a video. And then they're looking at me like, no, I came here to ravage you and eat you. So what? This shit will not be happening anymore. I'm done. I don't want people out there in America wondering where the heck is Antonia? There will be nobody trying to control me anymore. I I guess I can thank those people who kept bringing me food. Um, you know, but uh, don't miss me too much. I don't know, Trump family. Where are you in Malala, Oregon? Where where were you this whole time? Because I didn't see you guys. I was exactly supposed to see you guys, and it ain't for nobody else. I, I hated, and have always hated, a bunch of you people. Every time I brought the Trump family up and how I'm supposed to be in them, oh, all of a sudden, people just act like, oh, that's privilege for just anybody out there. No, what it isn't. <laughs> there ain't gonna be no privilege for the game Superman, I guess. 
Sorry I liked you. Sorry we met in basketball class. Sorry you're basically Lucifer. <sighs> Freaking Netflix movie, I guess. Sorry you're Fred from the Trump family. I guess if Donald Trump would say, looking at Donald's family, <laughs> it's kind of a blessing for me not to have no damn siblings because apparently they can be a bit of a pill. I like you, y'all. <laughs> I tried to take so much of that weight down because I don't know if y'all remember from recent recent but past videos um my hair was just so big up here it was like there's gotta be there's gotta be a change We're going to talk about nurses for a second. Because what I don't understand is why is it that you think your job is like just so lackadaisical? Like there was just so many people in there and I'm like, <laughs> a lot of these people in here need a demon to be removed from them. And you sitting there like, oh no, I guess I'll wait for them to tell me. <laughs> I guess we'll use medical shit. <laughs> this is such a freaking lie. Where is the proof? Uh, I'm I'm sorry, Nizer family, that you find it in yourself, or Eric and Nizer and Tyler and Nizer, why you guys find it in yourselves every time I've hit you up in the past, and this is my advice to you, and my last words to you. If you think that your pathetic little cops is going to help y'all asses out, <laughs> you clearly don't understand that I have completely been, food is medicine and medicine is food, that I have completely been perfected by the love of food on purpose. Yep, I will definitely be seeing the Trumps very soon because I, I think anyone in their right mind watching me sit there, okay Antonia, it doesn't look like anything's happening in your life. Can you please let me help you in a way? Okay, let's go get Dawn. Let's go, you know, let's do something. Let's attract him over here. You know, it's like, <laughs> let's do something to get them over here. And I just, I just, I can't put up with this anymore. They just think that I have been in this house for so long and nobody nobody shares the same interests as me nobody's like
my gosh, you guys, this is so, so good. Ah, you schmoobs. Y'all know these. They're convenient, but like. It's still, it's still kind of a lot. I'm like, what? I've heard it over and over. Oh, your room's a mess. I'm like, I don't know how to clean it. Like, I used to come from home from my home from school and go to like <sighs> come. I used to come from my grandparents' house to home, which was school. <sighs> oh God, you guys! I'm getting so hungry. <laughs> I wish I would have. God, I wish I would have left the stupid hospital. It it just is so that was just such a setback, oh, yeah, and I totally understand that I will probably end up leaving here tomorrow. And it this is just ridiculous. Why couldn't somebody and a whole lot of people stand by me and just like say that like you know. It, it just doesn't make any sense. It just, none of this makes any sense. And I look forward to Ivanka, you trying to fix the situation in one way or another because I can't do this anymore. I don't think that I'm, I probably won't even be sleeping in this room tonight. I have lost complete trust in being here, being in this house, being around these kind of people who we're okay with letting cops completely come in here and like Satan kill still and destroy me. It's just like, at what point in time do you say, you know what, this is enough. Like, <sighs> if I'm not the pinnacle America for you, I don't really know what else to say. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm what surrounds you all. Y'all, tell me if this looks good. I know my my room don't look too good. Thanks for nobody helping me out. I know a lot of you friends out there have lots of money. Y'all could have just helped me out with it. Housekeeper. I, I love that Holy Spirit. I love the Holy Spirit's help. Because who else is going to help me better than the Holy Spirit, you know? <sighs> just tired of it I didn't I didn't ask you to do that you know I asked you to please follow the Lord and it probably has something to do with like me and you the silence in Malala and the silence in Oregon has got to stop like we need people that go around in the streets and we need enough people to just be like declaring the word of what God not just declaring but just like and shouting and you know you hear kids like shouting and screaming and kids kids are like the best and that's what that's what I want to see and you know what Dom I just have to see with you it's hard to be so bored When do me and Dawn get to fulfill our Brad Pitt and Angelina moment as far as having a bunch of kids and we love kids and all about kids and stuff.
There's one more they can love us, I guess. Y'all, that iron. <laughs> this thing to be, I don't even feel like it did enough. There's a fear of too much. Don Jr. Trump, you're going to even come over here now and please marry me. I don't know, America. I, I hate even saying that because I know that he relies on me to come over there and save him and get him out of hell and meet him and all kind of stuff. And it's just like... Uh, this is just so weird because I'm supposed to marry you. Yeah, we're gone. You know, I, I just, I haven't been listened to. My mom is one of the most hardest people to deal with. She just doesn't listen at all. I almost feel like my said mother-in-law. Thanks, Blake Spirit, for that. Um, I don't know. I'm ready to get out of here. If nothing has happened and I've tried to do everything and honestly been tired and hungry for all this time, I, I don't think anyone has looked at my situation and said, you know what, I think, I think that she just needs, you know, help in the area of some faith. I just... It's just hard for me to have faith in worldly things because they just don't last. And, um, I mean, it, of course, that has nothing to do with my marriage, my husband. But just like, you know, unreal things, I'm a Virgo, so that does enough for me. Um, I remember in Portland in the Pearl District, Portland, Oregon in the Pearl District. Um, we went into, I, this was years ago, I was with my mom. And we went into this earthy um, restaurant. And it wasn't just a restaurant. It was also a, um, I think it was, they may have done some yoga. I don't know. It was very interesting. It's across from the Mexican restaurant that's just down from the Art Institute area. But, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, and we walked into there, and I actually had walked into it, and, um, black or something, what in the hell? <laughs> Bait down flat, Bait down flat, okay. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, we wa I walked, I personally walked into the earthy restaurant, and my mom was behind me, and she just, like, right away was like, no. And I was like, oh my god. Like, this is who I be. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, probably a lot like, um, Tegan from Tia Maori. I do believe I was supposed to have a sister-in-law. It's a lot like Tia Maori with, like, the big eyes and small face, really no face, kind of skinny. But, don't know. I'm tired, y'all, so please talk to me down below. I'm really interested to see what the Holy Spirit has to say through you. 
so. I mean, if y'all could just, like, help me out. Talk to, talk to one of the Trumps, if not all of the Trumps, if not Don. Because, like, he just doesn't want to listen on Instagram, and I can't. You're supposed to marry when you were 40, Don. Oh, come on. <laughs> I was supposed to be 24. He was supposed to be 40. He was supposed to be 40, and I was supposed to be 24. And funny enough, the divorce room... At Joel Steen's Lakewood. It's 4024. <laughs> so. That's pretty interesting, huh? Yeah, get your stuff done. And then report back to me. I'd like to, I'd like to hear the reports. Holy Spirit, about what they gotta do, but. Everything Ivanka told me about you. This is going to be interesting, Lord, to see. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be interesting to see what Ivanka Trump uh, has to come out your neck for. And I hope that I don't stay here. I feel like the Holy Spirit is just like, if you would just trust in me, you could sleep here tonight. I'm like, this room needs a touch from God more than I, a human, can do. So... I don't know. <laughs> and the, the bottom line is, is I just haven't, that's what I've been yearning for. Getting out of Oregon, going and doing my thing, I guess. That's just that desire in me. But then there's like, well, they could just come over here and then you don't have to stress out. I, I, I'm just tired of sitting. I'm tired of sitting. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of sitting and waiting for things to happen. And this psych ward visit that I just came back from today. It was ridiculous. It is very ridiculous. And every single person around me that's pissed about, but she never supported me and all this kind of drama that they want to spit out their mouth. It just doesn't make any sense why after I voiced my opinion and understood that where I need to be, understood where I needed to be, um, and why nobody supported me? That's basically my bottom line question. Why? Why did you guys not want to help me? Why did you guys not want to say, you know what, I'll I'll try to let Don know or I'll try to let Ivanka know or I'll go all the way to Florida and talk with um Donald Trump or Ivanka Trump or wherever these Wherever um, the Trumps hang out at, why couldn't you guys go over there and talk to them and, and minister to their heart and, you know, Jesus talk to them? It just doesn't make any sense why I have been disrespected and the people in Oregon in a whole, and then I'm sure that when you, we want to get more defined, the people in Canby, Oregon... Possibly this Malala, Oregon. You guys have a finger that is pointing back at you. And it's probably your own. And it's probably the Holy Trinities. Which is like three fingers. And pointing back at you. Because why didn't you guys listen to her when she said. I need my husband to be happy. That is what Meghan Markle has. That is what she had when she made her documentary. So. And she said that when she. she she said that after she had said, you know, this is just isn't, this just isn't ideal and this is just really difficult and, you know, because she was dealing with a lot of people just kind of coming at her neck and apparently the British tabloids just aren't very nice. But, um, you know, Ivana Trump, I don't have anything to do with Marla Maples. That's Mike Dalby and that is definitely something Mike needs to start pursuing because, you know, you're going to have to <sighs> Th thanks for the support. Like why? But why couldn't you? I just I think I'm going to I think I'm going to. You know, end up having to stop this recording because it's kept going a long time. But it, it's just a why couldn't why why couldn't you support me? 
I, I just don't, I just, I just do not understand it, and I think you guys are going to regret a lot of the things that you did and said and everything else, because you guys are undereducated and applying things to yourselves that probably just don't make any sense, so... I don't know, Lord, but I do know what tomorrow brings, and I am totally ready to go, because I guess you have called me Heavenly Father to somewhere, and yeah, I just pray that any of you watching this, right now, in the name of Yeshua, you guys please respect me, and respect the fact that the things that God is doing in my life, uh, is definitely supposed to have, and is a had and it's supposed to have something to do with you um and be mature enough and beyond mature enough be beyond what the eye has been able to see um as mature because <laughs> this this just isn't easy being told like being being given setbacks like why would you give somebody a setback it just it just doesn't make any sense and oh, I just Lord, I just need more. I just need I need more. Everyone else needs more and um help me out, you all. I don't need to have a setback. Help me out, talk to one of the Trumps, like, today, like, help me out. It's just is so weird because my mentor, Mom Mercy, Lynn Welshel, she just has money, and she's giving me money, she's giving, she just has, I guess she has, like, a quite a bit of money, and I'm like, so why can you help me out? I just feel so ashamed, and I don't want Yeshua to reprimand me later on in life and just be like you know 